Hi everyone and welcome to a new and exciting episode with me, Derek aka Sal, the Omega Enthusiast. A few months ago, I started to ask watch collectors around the globe if they were interested in participating in my new YouTube series. It was quite successful as 90% of whom I asked accepted the offer. Creating a 5-10 to 10 minute videos can take a long time, so please be patient and allow this first group of participants to take their time and make an excellent video for you guys to watch. I released it episode 1 in late October, introducing myself and my selected timepieces. You can click on the link above if you haven't watched that episode. My guest for this episode is an Australian watch collector, a vegetable farmer, and a YouTuber creating watch content just like myself. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram account in the description box below. Check them out as his collection is quite impressive. Enough of me talking, please welcome our guest, Jimmy Split. Hi guys, my name is Jimmy. My YouTube channel is Jimmy Split 77 And uh, firstly, I'd like to thank Sal, the Amiga enthusiast, for reaching out to me to, to be part of the series. Um, what I've got is, I'm a vintage collector and also modern watch collector. And I was just going to go through some of my uh, vintage pieces and just talk a little bit about collecting. So here we have a reference 1675 Rolex GMT Master from 1966. Um, so I'll just yeah showcase the watch. Very nice condition, very honest. It's on the oyster strap, which is uh, stretch links. And um, the fun thing about collecting vintage is it just never gets old. Uh, there's so much to explore. Um, there's no wait lists. Uh, it's all up to you and your knowledge that you want to pick up through books and you know learning online. And um, yeah, quite some quite some fun just uh, hunting to find that next piece that you want. This is a Hoya calculator. Um, this is a reference uh, 110.633. It's from 1972. So this is an automatic chronograph. Um, as you can see, it's got the slide rule bezel. It's on the original bracelet. Quite nice condition. Has a blue dial, contrasting hands. And um, crown on the left hand side. So this is part of the diversity in collecting. Yeah, you can go from GMT watches to uh, you know, aviation inspired chronographs um, from different brands. And uh, yeah, it makes it quite fun. Here I have a 1968 transitional Amiga Speedmaster. Uh, this is the reference ST145.022. Um, now with this piece, it's obviously about the history of the watch and above that is actually about the quality of this piece. Um, being extremely close to new old stock, if not new old stock, um, I say extremely close because I do not have the box and papers watch only, but presents in immaculate condition. And yeah, another facet to collecting. You can chase these kind of pieces, new old stock, or you can go for a piece that is beautiful and original, but you know, being well worn, well loved in its life. Here's a Nevada Gretchen, Chronomaster Aviator Sea Diver. So this is the reference 85004-3730. So it's from the 1960s. And um, this is another interesting point with uh, collecting vintage watches is um, you know, going deeper and deeper with uh, your knowledge, uh, whether it's through books or online. 
and um, diversifying into you know, all different brands and um, keeps it very interesting and uh, quite exciting too when you find that piece that you're looking for. Here's a Tudor Submariner from uh, 1967. So this is a reference 7928. And the interesting thing about this piece is it's been in my collection twice, the very same watch. I bought this early in collecting and um, traded out of it into something else. And years later, it come back on the market and uh, it sat for a while unloved. So I put it back into my collection. Um, and it's been a great experience getting this watch back. Not the original bracelet, but um, head only watch, but absolutely beautiful example. This here is the very watch that started my collecting. Uh, prior to owning this watch, I only had cheap quartz watches. Always loved wearing a watch. Um, and when I acquired this watch, this was handed down to me after my grandfather passed away. So this was his watch. Uh, he wore this a lot. I actually worked alongside my grandfather, so I remember him wearing this watch, especially as a child um, and then as a young adult. And yeah, I remember after he passed, being handed the watch and winding it up and watching it come to life, knowing that it hadn't been worn in a very long time and just to see something of such high quality and something that was worn so much, still have life in it after his past. And um, it's just basically, this is the watch that started my collecting. It made me um, appreciate, um, you know, objects of quality and, you know, design and that, you know, produced to last a long, long time. Multiple generations if looked after correctly. So yeah, guys, this is where it started, right here. I hope you guys enjoy Jimmy's collection. And a big thank you to Jimmy for sharing some of his collection and answer some of our question. You can learn much about Jimmy's and his collection through his channel as well. If you enjoy content like this, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing as episode 3 is coming next week. Of course, you can always support my work on Patreon. If you have any question or comment, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the following video.